Hello from Washington State Archives. This video series is here to get you started in your historical research. Welcome to Digging Deep, Understanding Sources. Research is all about your sources, so let's talk about the types of sources. They're secondary sources and primary sources, and we're going to answer these questions. What are they? Where are they found? And how are they used? You might infer by the name secondary and primary sources that you should start with primary and do secondary second, but it's exactly the opposite. We'll always start our research with secondary sources. Secondary and primary indicate where the information came from, nothing to do with the order in which you research it. Secondary sources consist of information created about an event after it happens, perhaps long after it happens. Some examples include things like encyclopedias, articles, biographies, and textbooks. Some secondary sources are going to be found online, but a library is usually going to be your best option. You use secondary resources to get an overview, to find basic information on your topic, historical context, analysis, interpretation. And these sources will help you determine which primary sources to research in the next phase of your project. Primary sources are original sources of information from the time the research topic happened, such as documents, recordings, interviews, autobiographies, photos, journals, artifacts. Again, some of these can be found online, but the best places to look are at archives, museums, historical societies, academic libraries. All these institutions contain extensive collections you can't find online. Use primary sources to find direct evidence and perspectives of events from participants and observers, people who were actually there. Evidence to test secondary sources, even test your own interpretation. Now that we've discussed the difference between secondary and primary sources, watch our next video, Digging Deep, finding and using secondary sources.